Beyond Dance to Dream, I like to inspire and motivate adults to dream again. Because as we go through life and take on our different roles and responsibilities, we tend to put our dreams on the back burner. And my goal here at Dawn Dance to Dream is to help you pick those dreams back up and to pursue them again. Now, I, I want you to understand, I started Dawn Dance to Dream because I wanted to relay my message and my heart and my feelings across to whomever would listen. It can be difficult getting your closest family and friends to understand the way that you believe and when you try to express it and share it. So this was like my backdoor way into <laughs> letting everybody know. Now I may have lost some viewers as a result of that because they don't agree. And that's fine. I am definitely a proponent of everyone having their own thoughts, their own process, their own mindset that works for them. Your religion works for you, you keep that. No one's telling you to get rid of that. Whatever it is that works for you, continue to use it. I'm just saying that sprinkle some of this other information on it, this personal development information that I'm providing you and see where your life takes you and how you take off personally. But always remember, we are in control of how we see our environment. I don't care what everyone says it looks like or everyone says it is, we are in control of how we choose to perceive the environment. Hey dreamers, welcome back. And welcome to all the new dreamers who stopped by Dawn Dares to Dream today to see what we're all about. Well, I am concluding the What Does Success Mean to You, to Me, series. Today we're going to wrap up the entire series and I'm going to give an example of, you know, what ultimate success is and then what the little wins are that take us to the big success, that dream life that we are all looking for. Well, at least I'm looking for, I don't know about you. <laughs> so uh, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Now, I do want to remind you that we do have the YouTube promo going on right now. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, if you subscribe, take a screen capture, email it to me, or message me on social media, I will send you one of the workbook or action guides for free. You just have to tell me which one you like. There's a link in my description for this video. Um, like right under the short description there, it says shop. Right there, click on that and you can go there and it'll list the, the four workbooks that I have and it'll list the descriptions of each workbook so you can pick the appropriate one for you. So now let's move on to the what does success mean to me finale. <laughs> so I wanted to give you guys an example of what it takes to achieve an ultimate goal or the success that you're looking for in something. So I'm gonna use the example of my 21 day cleanse. That 21 day cleanse was rather difficult for me to do, um, but I had already set my mind to it. I had already decided that I was going to do this 21 day cleanse and I was going to do it successfully and I was going to be committed and to the commitment that I've made to myself and I was going to follow the rules that I had set forth. So the first thing I did to set out to be successful was I laid out the plan for what I was gonna do. I knew that I was, my digestive tract was not on track. <laughs> it wasn't acting right, it wasn't behaving. I had a lot of gas, I had a lot of bloat. I just didn't feel really good. I felt lethargic and I knew I needed to make a change. So I decided that I was gonna do a cleanse January, 2021. So I had made this decision, I'm gonna say probably in about October of um, last year, to be honest with you, of the, yeah, the year before 2020. So I had made this decision what I was gonna do. So I said, okay, you're gonna do a cleanse. So how many days are you gonna do it? How are you gonna do it? What are the rules? Now I had done many cleanses before in my past. So I took little bits of things that I thought were really helpful in previous cleanses that I had done. So one cleanse I had done, I we basically just um, for one week did smoothies. So I was like, okay, that sounds like a plan. I know I can do that. It's difficult. I had a partner the last time, but I know I can do it. Then I had another cleanse that was actually 21 days and we couldn't eat meat and it was more of a vegan kind of cleanse now i wasn't a hundred percent strict on the veganism kind of deal but i kind of was at the same time um because there's something about not eating meat and meat products that helps your digestive tract really work 
and function optimally. So I knew that I was having some issues with my digestive tract because I was so bloated. So it felt like I was full all the time. And then I would feel hungry, but my stomach would be distended. So it didn't make any sense to me if, because I looked as if I had just eaten, but I had, you know, and I was ready to eat again. So I, I needed to fix that. So I knew the, that one 21 day cleanse that I did that was more on a vegan track actually um, deflated my abdomen. Okay, so I said, okay, I think I want to do that. And then I said, well, what do you want to do when you're done? Because each of these other cleanses that I've done, I have been successful doing the cleanse, but when it's over, I go back to eating my normal way, and then I gain all the way back, I get the bloat back. So what was the point in doing the cleanse if you're just going to go back to what you did before? So I said, this time I'm actually going to go ahead and say for the next two months, I'm going to be a pescatarian. So if you watched the 21 day cleanse video, you probably heard me say that. So I was very successful at it. And, but then I said, okay, it was kind of easy getting through the 21 day cleanse. I mean, it was difficult. Let me, let me not say that. It was very difficult getting through the week where I had to just drink the smoothies. And then the week where I was just eating raw food. That was very difficult too, but I chose to do the raw food week because eating raw food, not putting any um, thing on your food, not having any um, preservatives in your food helps you to digest. It flows through your system a lot better. And my whole issue was digestion. Now, I did use the bathroom frequently, but my the bloat in my stomach. So I feel like there's something about the way that I was eating and combining my food and putting it in my belly was bloating me because it was going through and it was, you know, I was, I was having regular bowel movements and everything because I always have, but I had this distended belly and I'm like, you know, Dr. Oz always talks about, you know, it's all about the waistline and the waistline ain't right. Then you're not right. You know? So I was like, I have to get this down. So I knew doing the smoothies, that's raw food. And then if I do another week of eating raw food, that that would really help. And I'm going to tell you in Halfway through week one, my mother noticed my belly had went down. She was like, your belly is smaller. So there was something to the thought or the process of what I was doing. So I was getting a small win. The win was, okay, your belly's already started to go down, but you still have committed to doing this for three weeks. Now, another thing I didn't realize is there's a thing where if you do something for 21 days, then you're making it a habit. Um, it becomes a part of your regular nature, part of your regular routine. I did not know I was doing that, but I picked the 21 days because I had done a 21 day cleanse before. So I'm saying to you, I had the small wins. I did the week of the smoothies. Now that was difficult. Come day four, I really wanted to quit. But when you have made a commitment to do something, you have to stick it through. When you stick it through, you it's almost like you tell something to your subconscious like you're whispering to yourself that I can do this like I can win and if I can win everybody else can win because if I can do it you can do it so I was very very excited about my progress and I wanted to quit I wanted to cheat I told my mother well if I if I eat something nobody will know it's just me and you in this house but you know what I stuck to it I did not quit because I wanted to win now when you're in the I'm trying to achieve a goal or a dream or achieve this success there is some discipline that you're going to have to have. I didn't watch any TV during this time, especially during the time of the just drinking the smoothies and eating the raw food. I didn't turn the TV on. My son kept asking me, mommy, mommy, why don't you watch the TV? Because guys, I really watch a lot of TV. I love television shows, okay? And I watch a lot of TV. And so I said, I, you know, I'm just not interested in it right now. But really what I knew is when you were on a, a goal journey or a success journey, it's a spiritual journey. And you can't put a lot of crap inside of your psyche every day if you are on a success journey, right? So since I knew that I had 21 days of this to do, I really didn't watch much TV. I did a lot of uh, honing in on Dawn Dead's a Dream, on a different type of concepts and who I am in this concept that I've created and where I wanted to go and the message I wanted to give my dreamers. I did a lot of thinking on that and a lot of reading because I didn't want to be tempted, to be honest, to eat by watching television and the TV shows people eating, the commercials people eating. I didn't want to be influenced. So I said, this is something that I love to do, but I got to lay it down right now if I'm going to win. You know, if I'm going to get this small win of getting through this week, I can't worry about television. And so I really didn't. And it wasn't really that hard for me because I was enjoying fulfilling myself in other ways. But that's a part of the mindset 
for success. When you're on your success journey, you have to say, okay, well, what am I willing to give up to achieve this goal that I have for myself? Because we have to give something up. And at that moment in time, I gave up television. Because you know the law, I think it's the law of compensation. What do you give up so that you can gain something else? And so I gave up something that was near and dear to my heart, but I didn't need to do it. You know, I, I needed to focus more on Dawn Days of Dream. And so I took that time to do so. So the success journey is not just about the action of you doing the steps to be successful. It's about what it is that you're willing to give up so that you can even add extra focus into what it is that you're doing. So I got to week two where we had raw food and I was so excited because I was so excited to actually chew some food. <laughs> so as I'm making my salads and I'm looking up my new recipes, you know, I did my research, but you hear that I did my research. That's also a part of the success journey. I did not know how to make um, different varieties of smoothies or different varieties of salads or veggies that were not cooked. Because remember, when you're doing something seven days and then you're eating about three or four times a day, you want some variety in it or it won't work. So I always talk about when you are pursuing a dream or a goal, a part of the action steps that you can take is to do some research on the thing that you, it is that you desire. So I did a lot of research on the food so that I would buy certain things and make certain dishes and try different things so that I could stay on track and meet my ultimate goal of completing my 21 day cleanse. So when you're do looking for success, right? And you're, 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 you're running after that success, you know, that success is running towards you. You want to know more about what it is that you are trying to be successful at. So whatever that thing is, read some more books about it. You might want to take a course or two about it, but you want to make sure that you are dumping into your mind, into your subconscious, all of the information that you can so that the success wants to come to you. It wants to be attracted to you because all you're doing is thinking about that particular success. Because think about it. As you are educating yourself on the thing that it is that you desire, that means you're thinking about it a lot. And remember, thoughts create thoughts are energy right okay you know the law of transmutation of energy you know that's another one of those universal laws go check out that series if you haven't already you know so i got through that week and it was nice and then when i started cooking oh my lord i made this mushroom soup again i had never made mushroom soup before in my life i, I researched found the recipe it looked good i know i like mushrooms let me give it a shot soup was very very good I made some lint, warm lentils and I made some Swiss chard with uh, beets and some goat cheese. Because by the time I got to cooking, I wasn't so vegan vegan, if that makes any sense. I was able to add in cheese. I didn't add in a lot of cheese, but that particular dish called for cheese and I did um, use it. Oh my God, and it was so good. And I've made it afterwards. Um, I also made a cauliflower shawarma wrap during that time. Ooh, that's another one of the staples that are in my um, diet today because I enjoyed it so much because I love Indian flavors. So it really worked for me. But I would have never found any of these items, done any of these things had I not done some research. I had to educate myself on how to cook like a vegetarian because I've never been a vegetarian. I've played around with it here and there, but I've never really dug into recipes and making sure that the food was excellent, you know, and I'm telling you, I learned some really good techniques and I learned that when you are a vegetarian, each component of your dish, you have to take care of it. You have to make sure it's seasoned properly. You have to make sure you're cooking each component in separately really, really well. So then when you bring them together, like the dishes, like, Oh my God, Oh my God, like that. Okay. So, um, that is how I've been able to stay on this track. Now, granted, we are now in, it's July, right? Okay, so I started this in January. And my goal was to stay eating properly for myself, the way I think eating properly should be, until the end of the year. So I just am very grateful and thankful that I'm on track. And I'm not thinking, oh my God, where's my burger? Oh, I need some chicken. No, you know, where's my steak? <laughs> you know, no. I've actually been going out to dinner, eating with my family, and I, everything has been okay. Sometimes I don't even eat even seafood when I go out with them. I just stay, you know, in my vegetarian lane. What I'm telling you is that 21 days, it set me up for success because it changed my mind around food. And now that my mind has changed, 
this is my daily living, my daily habit. I even grow food now um, on uh, my tower garden. If you have watched, I did do one video, uh, Tower Garden. You can go take a look at it. It's uh, There's a playlist called Tower Garden. And I show you, you know, my tower garden and how it's growing. I've been, you know, I've used my basil off of there. I've used some of my oregano. I've done a lot of salads from there. I also have spinach on there. I put it, made a spinach omelet the other day. Um, I also have uh, the Swiss chard that I grow from there that I cook frequently. And I'm just excited about eating fresh, fresh food because the food that you grow and eat, whether it's outside in the dirt or if you're using like a hydroponic method like I'm doing with the Tower Garden, literally it's so much fresher and it tastes so much better than the food you buy in the grocery store, even the organic food. Because if you think about it, when I eat off my Tower Garden, I literally cut it right there and eat it. You know how fresh that is? The food that we get in our grocery stores, it was grew, grown on a garden somewhere, and sometimes not even in America, and then it goes through the shipping process and all that happens and the binding process and all that to get to you. That food has been cut from its roots for a very long time, so it's not as fresh. It doesn't taste as good. So I've learned a lot on this journey, but this, this is my journey of success for eating right. And my goal, like I said, is to get through the end of the year and to get on that scale and to see where I am and to see how healthy I continue to feel. But that was my success with the Tower Garden. But you see how the success took a lot of mind power first. Before any actions really take place or anything, I could be successful, get that small win, my mindset has to be right. I have to educate myself. So I have to read, I have to learn. And we have to remember that when we're doing anything. So don't just try to do something blindly. Make sure you're getting educated. Now, you may not have the money to buy a class to, to learn or whatever. I didn't. I'm not a nutritionist. But I did it. The internet is a wonderful, powerful tool. And I used it. And that's what I'm saying to you. There's a lot of stuff out there that can teach you about a lot of different things. There are a lot of YouTube channels that can teach you how to do things. I work in IT, and sometimes when I don't know how to do something, I go to YouTube. And there's someone there who knows how to do it, and they give an instructional video. And voila, now I can do the thing that I couldn't do before. So use the tools that are in front of you so that they can aid in your success. And remember that the, the Universal Laws series is going to be very helpful along your success journey. I did, I think the last video or the video before that, I did run through the Universal Laws and I gave you some small examples that will show you how to use the Universal Laws in your success. So review that video, go back to the Universal Laws video, and really digest these things, and then go out and get educated on the specific topic of success it is that you desire. So if you like this video, give me thumbs up. Also remember that there is comment button down there. Click on that comment button. Write me any questions that you may have. I definitely will get right back to you. It might take a day or two. There's a share button with an arrow. Click on that, share this to your social media platform like Facebook, and, um, up here, you're going to see my face. It's gonna be in a circle. I want you to click on my face, uh, select the gray bell, select all. That way you'll be subscribed to my channel and you'll be alerted to all the new content I place up here to YouTube. And remember, when you subscribe now, take that screen capture and send it to me at dream at gmail.com so that you can get your free workbook. And over here, I'm going to have the success series and the universal law series as well so that you can um, go back and review any videos that you may have missed. I have so enjoyed sharing my thoughts about success with my dreamers. I hope this series has been enlightening for you. And if you have any more questions about success or how to achieve it, how to get it, because remember, success is relative. It's relative to what you believe success is for you in your life. Don't let anyone try to take your success away from you or tell you your idea or thought is not a successful one. Because remember, it's about your reality, your perception of your environment, because we create our reality with the thoughts in our mind. <laughs> have a great day, dreamers.